From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. Daylight saving does end over the weekend. So a couple of things you do, turn your clocks back an hour. That will be late Saturday night and or early Sunday morning. Always a good time to take, test your smoke alarms. You'll get that extra hour of sleep Sunday morning, but then obviously the sun will be setting a lot earlier. 529 will be Sunday's sunset. Sunday sunrise will be at 646. Sunset today, 631. So enjoy these last few days before the time does change. Now, next week at the same time, next Thursday, sunset will be at 526. For Thanksgiving, sunset will be at 518. Yesterday was pretty chilly outside. We only managed to make it to 55 degrees. Those winds were pretty brisk at times, so that did make it feel even cooler. Our average high this time of the year is closer to about 71 degrees. No rain yesterday. Obviously, we have not gotten any measurable rainfall at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport since October 20th, and it's going to be dry over the next several days as we put our forecast into motion for you. Not much to show you because we're going to enjoy a lot of sunshine. Still going to be a little bit cooler today. Gradually, though, we'll see more of a southwesterly flow, so our weather will start to warm up, especially as we go into the weekend. Lows tonight once again dropping down into the, we'll say, low 30s, upper 20s in those traditionally cooler spots, and we do expect dry weather over the next seven days. Here's the European forecast model showing those dry conditions. American model showing the same thing with high pressure, firmly in control, pretty dry and quiet. Still a little bit cool today with those highs, upper 50s to near 60 degrees, mid 60s tomorrow. Over the weekend, we'll be in the low to maybe even middle 70s. We'll go mid 70s on Monday with a few more clouds out there. The coastal forecast, low 70s over the weekend, upper 50s to near 60 degrees today. And in the upstate, probably mid 50s today, low 60s tomorrow, low 70s over the weekend. High school football Friday night is going to be a little bit cool with these temperatures that kick off mid to upper 50s. So it will be a little bit cool and towards the end of those ball games, it'll be cooling off even more. So be prepared if you're going to be heading out to any kind of high school football game with those temperatures cooling off under clear conditions. So it will be a bit on the cool side for high school football. Now I will say early Saturday morning. It's going to be a bit chilly if you're going to be going to the South Carolina Jacksonville State game. Those temperatures will be warming up through the game, though, so that's certainly good news. Kickoff, you're talking about a temperature of about 63 degrees. Notre Dame and Clemson, kickoff temperature of about 60. Howard versus South Carolina State, got a 330 kickoff on that one. Temperature is right around 70. Winget at Newberry, 65 degrees in a big game in the downtown Columbia area. Allen at Benedict, kickoff temperatures of about 70. Over the next 8 to 14 days, temperatures close to normal across the Palmetto State, and it may be slightly wetter than normal for at least the eastern half of South Carolina. Tropics are pretty quiet, still watching this area. National Hurricane Center gives it a 30% chance of further development over the next seven days or a low chance. So pretty quiet in the tropics, but as we continue to move through hurricane season, it does officially end on November the 30th, so it is a very long season.